you know, I thought our guys come out there and worked hard uh, today. Um, really good look by our scout teams. Um, you know, lots of young guys on there that continue to to get a lot of a lot of reps. Uh, some guys that have come off some injuries, and it's good to see them out there getting going. Um, you know, when you look at Alabama, I said it today offensively. I think it's one of the most explosive Alabama teams that I've seen. Uh, there's really no weakness um, on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, you know, they they uh, they play a lot of people, uh, play a lot of tight coverage, a lot of pressure, create a lot of negative plays. Uh, they continue to improve every single week. And then special teams, they have lots of playmakers that are dynamic, uh, a lot of speed on the teams, and uh, obviously it'll be a big challenge for us. Questions, we'll start with Austin Price. Hey, Coach, uh, what can we expect to see out of the defensive line since you've taken over that group? And, uh, you know, what what do you feel like they brought this week in practice? Well, we've probably had our best three practices of the year uh, from the defensive front up there. Just, you know, these guys, if you look at the group all together, um, you know, Matt Butler and, and Bumpus, uh, have had an opportunity to work multiple spring practices on the D-line. Uh, a lot of these other guys have not. Um, and so they'll continue to get better. Um, you know, we got to play with more toughness, more effort. Um, got to got to be able to play on the other side of the line of scrimmage, uh, something that, you know, we've not created a lot of negative plays with our front that we need to. We need to get more, more pressure up the middle, um, you know, without having to bring pressure. So, uh, we've got a huge challenge this week uh, with the guys um, that they'll be playing in front of, so it's a great opportunity for them. Patrick Brown. Jeremy, you mentioned the uh, other day that more of a Joseph played some inside linebacker and, and would continue to sort of rush the passer. Uh, Long term, do you see him uh, as maybe a guy who could play both or one or the other, and, and what do you think you guys have gotten out of him so far this season? Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a guy that, uh, really, he's a four for four guy. He could play all four positions. Um, reminds me of a guy I coached uh, before that plays for the Titans, uh, Rashawn Evans. Uh, very similar, similar body movements. Uh, an instinctive guy. Uh, in high school, he played uh, defensive end, and he also played inside linebacker. So he's a guy that has bounced around like that. He's smart. He works hard. Uh, he's been a pretty good special teams player so far. Um, so. You know, he just got to continue to work, and uh, and he'll do that. Uh, Eric Kane and Blake Topmeyer. Hey, Jeremy, what's been the availability of Alante Taylor and Jeremy Banks this week in practice? Yeah, well, they both practiced today, so that was good to see. Alante practiced yesterday uh, also. So, um, you know, there, I, I think both of them will be a game-time decision, uh, but – it, it, it has looked more promising uh, the last couple of days. The guys have continued to work hard, and our training staff continues to do uh, everything they can to get them ready. Blake? Yeah, earlier today, you mentioned that uh, you ought to see which quarterbacks are, are healthy come Saturday. Is, uh, is Jarrett dealing with an injury? Well, we've, he obviously has taken some licks over the last couple of weeks. So, uh, But he's practiced. He's practiced every day. Um, you know, and, and Brian has had a knee and a hamstring uh, that has been a little bit nagging uh, through the course of camp. But, uh, again, he's, he's practiced the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, all these guys are taking reps, and, um, and we'll continue to do that. Gustavo. Coach, according to ESPN's Football Power Index, Alabama's favor 92.5%. Do you use this as a factor of motivation for your players to, like, you know, to, you know, be more motivated to, like, overcome this uh, big uh, challenge? Well, um, to me, a, a true competitor uh, is motivated, is self-motivated every single day. Um, when you when your feet hit the floor, uh, you want to be at your best. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's the attitude to me that you've got to have. And, um, you know, our guys continue to work hard. I thought this week has been really good practices. Um, you know, so uh, we've got to take it from the practice field to the game field.